and <clears throat> broken up into tiny little droplets dispersed in water, which is effectively milk, these droplets of butter fat dispersed in water. Um, and now we're adding the liquid nitrogen. Stuff is great. <laughs> the, um, it, it's been around for a very long time. The, uh, uh, we found a very interesting. Um, I was trying to show you this while this was really the previous slide. Uh, in 1901, uh, a woman named Agnes Marshall wrote Mrs. Marshall's cookbook. Uh, she had been into a science demonstration in London where she had seen liquid nitrogen, or liquid air, as she called it. And she wrote this fantastic paragraph going on and on about how this is the perfect thing at dinner parties. You know, you just put a few drops in, people can make their own ice cream. Uh, it's excellent for picnics. <laughs> she was actually very impressive. Unfortunately, it took a couple hundred years for this to happen. So here we have the... Um, she also mentioned that one day she could imagine uses for it in hospitals. Imagine that. That's the ice cream. Yeah. So, in there. Anyway, we've got a bunch of this that we made up earlier in the back. So everyone's going to get some of this. We've got a few okay. other things that we do with liquid nitrogen as well. So that's sort of what we've got for you today. Yep, and we're happy to take questions. <laughs>